As John Sawat used to say, when you meditate, lift your mind, lift your heart. Lifting your mind means pulling it up out of the ordinary concerns of the world. Bring it to the Dhamma, particularly the Dhamma of the present moment. When you lift your mind in this way, you can put aside all the concerns that weigh it down and keep it on a low level. And you bring it up to an area where you're dealing directly with events in the mind before you've made them into a state of becoming, before you've created any suffering out of them. That's one way of lifting the mind. Then you lift your heart. In other words, you lift your mood. Remind yourself, this is good work to be doing. Work of uprooting your defilements, work of cleaning out the mind. And it's a good thing that you have this opportunity to do this. Do it with a sense of cheer, with a sense of joy. That you're fortunate to have the time and the opportunity to do this good work. When you lift your heart and you lift your mind in this way, then the meditation, even at the very beginning, becomes energizing. And as you stick with it, it becomes more energizing. Because you're not carrying around the weights of the world. And you remind yourself that you do have some goodness to you. But you can think in these ways. This is called uplifting the mind. It's part of right effort. When we hear the word right effort, we think of sweating and working hard. But remember, this is an effort in the mind. And the Buddha has you do good work. You see a defilement and you can step away from it. You see something good and you have the opportunity to develop it. You have the time, you have the space. You're not weighed down by other concerns. So make the most of the fact that you've got this time. Time to look after your mind day after day after day. The fact that it's day after day sometimes gets a little dull. But then you think of the other things that other people have to put up with day after day. There's war in some places day after day. There's famine, there are floods. Working for difficult bosses, working in jobs that are meaningless. There are a lot of things that a lot of people have to put up with day after day that you don't have to put up with here. Just learn how to deal with the affairs of your own mind. And that's a good thing, because there's light at the end of the tunnel. And this is the kind of work that lifts you up out of the world. As the Buddha said, lifting the mind to a heightened level. That's the teachings of the Buddha. And this is what you're doing as you work with, right here with the meditation right now. All the Buddhas of the past have taught this. They were onto something. So see what you can learn.